Jeremy? Yeah. What am I doing here? I brought you here so we could ride the entirety of Rutgers' campus bus system. Why? What is this coming? This is an A, College Avenue to Bush. Why is it a truck standing. mini bus? Why is it a truck mini bus? I don't know that I've ever stood on a mini bus before. The signs have broken. Oh, yeah. So the A actually has a meaning, which is Bush Academic Buildings First. Because <laughs> the H, which is Bush Housing First. Obviously, as you can tell, dwell times are a large priority of this system. You know, minimizing dwells. Oh, I gotta turn the stopwatch on. Oh, 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 sh 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 start. Like Alright, give or take, like 10 you know, seconds. 10 seconds. This is this gonna, is be, gonna be fun. All the boots are infinite boots. They have no, like, terminal efficiency. They just keep going until the bus goes out of service. So we have to ride every route, like, from where we get on back to where we got on. I hate you. I can already see, like, look at the line of cars. I can also barely hear you over the really loud and non-functional AC. It somehow manages to be both. So the next bus is 20 minutes behind this one. Yes, for, it's supposed to be like every like 7 or something. 21, 23, 28, 28, 29. It appears to be a green light up there, but there's so much traffic from the next light that we're still just kind of stuck. This is the College Avenue Student Center stop. This is our first stop. How much time has it been? Um, 12 minutes. Jeremy, we're are we going to be able to do this all? Like, uh, yeah, I'm we will. Worried. Because like, once you get out of this misery loop, it's faster. We're okay. heading on the Route 18. So this is express. Yes. So like, to go between the different campuses, you always wind up being like shoved on Route 18. I mean, this is nice. We're going fast. Look at these beautiful fall colors. It's falling a little bit. I'm glad to see the wheelchair lift is jiggly on this. That's that's a classic. <laughs> yeah. It's gotten a lot more suburban now that we're off the highway. We're in this new campus. What campus is this? Bush. We're doing a little loopy loop. There's the, the shelter. It has its own vending machine. It's an NJT and some shelter, notably. Oh. Look, see Does it say NJT? Oh, it literally does. This is actually a popular stop. Look, we can move to real seats of our own. This is a nice roundabout, by the way. So we're gonna go up here on Frailer Reason or Road. Okay, this is a stop that's like separated from the road, which is kind of nice. The bus is really emptying out here at the sciences well, building. So it, it makes sense because this is academics first. So like people are going from college having to go to their classes. This is so sciencey. Although, oh, are these, what's going on here? These dorms? these dorms? We've gone past all these dorms, but the stop is way over here. You gotta well, walk so far to get home. Oh, it's very annoying. We will later on pass stops that have been abandoned in place with the shelter. Ooh. There's a bus I hope we don't get. Notably, the stop in this direction is a pull out, but the one the other way doesn't, so they just kind of sit there and block traffic. We're Blinn. Oh. Yes. And, it's, and it's another NGT shelter. Yes. There's no NGT route that goes over here, like, remotely close. We're back at the roundabout. You'll be back here many times. Whoa, action shot. This bus is falling apart, by the way. It's like jiggling itself to death. Here? We're back on College Ave. Back at the yard. Oh. We finished one route. So how long did that whole loop take? Like 38 minutes. Oh gosh. Which isn't that bad. Here's an F with a broken side. <laughs> a completely un- And it's one of those really bad Eldorados. And this car's in its way. Are we gonna get on this? Yeah, I think, we, I think the rule here is you just like chain like next- Next thing that comes, all right. I'll note that this is operated by First Transit, which used to run Greyhound, so. That gives you an idea of the quality yeah. here. You're sitting here, you gotta be Oh, okay. you, and of course you give us the wheel well seat. This will be pretty quick, I think. Because we're also in like a mid-class period where there's no traffic, or less traffic. Our A turned there, but we're on an F now, so we're getting uncharted territory down this way. I want to say that this bus is lurching to a very sickening degree. Man, what is this on-ramp? Oh, all of Rudy <laughs> teams go like this. You know the well, there's your problem when they're like, New Jersey is what happens when you let traffic engineers like roam free. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is full of that. <laughs> this is the way the goes, so we'll be doing that later. Okay, wait, but the F gets an additional, an additional express moment. These are some really nice old school single family houses. Yeah. Are we making this stop or no? No, that's an abandoned stop. Oh. What? <laughs> what? It's like a driveway. <laughs> yeah, look. Look, you can look at the bus. Like, like, bang on that <laughs> bollard. I'm glad to be able to see this when there's like 12 buses here. Are we just gonna kind of, oh. Okay. That was well. so loud. <laughs> Great. We're passing another F, I'd like to point out. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, so we are. Oh, we're turning. We go, we go further into I... this complex. That is really loud. Oh, there's a E, -E bunch. Oh boy, double E, -E. And, and, and E, -E if 
you ask me. Here we go, Running Express again. We're back at this stop. Yeah. Every time, every time. There goes another ref that's passing us somehow. I don't, I don't even know how. And we appear to be like spending some time hanging out here. Oh yeah, the driver's taking a break. This is no, con they can kind of do whatever they want, right? I, I have no idea. We're not blaming the drivers. Like this is an ad hoc schedule. Like I totally get taking a break in the middle of the road. It's just, it's, it's very frustrating, especially if you'll be like on a crunch loaded bus and the driver's like, <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break here. I'll be back. Five. I'll be going for like 15 minutes. Drug handle! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so excited. So here's the unique F bypass of the student center stop. Completely pointless. I don't really know why it does that. 29 minutes. Wow. So quick. So we're leaving behind this crap bucket. And getting on the H. College Ave slash Bush. Oh, it's like empty. Oh! Oh, brakes. Back of the bus, you're a cool kid. We're not stuck in traffic on this part of the loop. Oh yeah, because it's like 4.50 right now and class get out at five, so we're able to get one more trip in before the I think it's like 5.10, but that's when it's gonna truly just be like madness. So the H is basically the A, but in reverse. A in reverse, H means there's the housing with the dorms first. So, so enjoy first. seeing the same thing you saw five minutes ago. <laughs> we're on the express section, and I just feel like all of these buses have like a Stench. Here's the Bush Student Center, but note the stops on that side. We're gonna have to do a little U-turn over here. Here we go. Buses only no cars. cars. Wow, BRT. And now we do another U-turn to get out of here. How are we gonna serve this stop, if think... at all? We don't just oh, don't serve oh, it. Oh, we no, express. There's no, 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 there's oh, it's a special other way stop. This is I mean. all like the physics and like stuff. That's the physics lecture hall, which is like it's actually like sunken. Can we talk about how there's no sidewalks. This poor person has to just walk along the road. We're doing the stadium loop again. There's a C, which is probably the least used route on the system, oh, if I had to absolutely. guess. Bye, C. See you, See you later. <laughs> We're back on the highway with a full seated load. This is nice. Like, this is what you want a bus to be at. It's 504. So it's gonna be terrible when we get back. Boy, this bus lane is <laughs> definitely wide enough for us. It's so useless. It's 512. So here's the stream of people all walking to the bus. Oh. It begins. 18 seconds. There's two E's arriving. One is 87% full. Then one in four minutes, and then one in 23 minutes. So oh. it's every five to six minutes. This isn't that bad. Wow. No, we can fit. We fit. We got very lucky because after this bunch, the next one's in 18 minutes. We're very lucky we're doing the EE right now because you don't have to do like the part where it loops around around. Yeah. Right, Jeremy, yes. on the floor. There's a ton of traffic, but we get to take the exit. So. That's that's good, right? So the EE e is the only route that has unique stops, not <laughs> sure by any other route. Half of the route is just unique whatever, which of course results in it being horrifically overcrowded. The E used to go straight down George Street and like serve like it used to like serve the train station where the NGT buses do. Then like they pedestrianized George Street and he went on to Route 18 and just sent it around. Well, it's an downtown. express route, Jeremy. But the EE was supposed to be like a local, like, well, downtown. the E like, stands for express, and the other E stands for embarrassment. We're doing the old get off and let yeah. people get on. This is the closest you can get to downtown on one of these, right? Correct. Other than looping around and getting off the yard, which sucks. Truck minibus on the EE, that's rough. With another EE directly behind Oh, wow, man, this looks terrible for bunching. We're doing the funny turn again. Oh, this is a good operator, Jared. That was, that was yeah. very well executed, this. Oh. Now approaching Red Oak Lane. Next stop, Whitman Hall. <laughs> I was gonna impersonate it, and then it started talking more. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do the off and on. Like oh, there's no sidewalk. The other buses go that way. This is by far the most unique route. Yeah. Which doesn't seem like great route planning. This used to be shared with the F. Right. I rode the Makes F over sense. here when I went to class last year. This livestock over there? Oh, no wait, whoa. This is Rutgers Farms. Here's Beale Road. <laughs> Not that, although, also look how many people are getting off and That's clearing true. out the bus. What is sign ID determining? That's, so the Rutgers used to use next bus, uh -huh. and then they dropped it, but they never like gotten rid of any of the signs. Ah. So they're all just stuck so in This is just like wasting energy. Now approaching, given. Next stop. Oh! <laughs> is it just like around? Yeah. The bus physically cannot actually make it like out the That's terrible. <laughs> Well, at least you have a curb cut, so it's accessible. Why do they insist on serving like the front door of this dorm, but the dorm's up in Bush, it's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna fly by and stop really far away. Oh, it's one of these roundabouts with a slip lane. <laughs> it's so pointless. Uh, 
nice pedestrian overpass. Oh, that bridge sucks, it's all stairs. We're making the turn downtown. Oh, and there's the stop. This is one of the worst stops I've seen as far as infrastructure. It's just got like a Rutgers bus sign and that's ah. going under the Northeast Corridor. Wow. I'm glad we're getting off the highway because this bus is really starting to break itself apart. That diesel smell is like it's pervasive. <laughs> like it's <sucks. laughs> Oh, the Pride bus is passing us, but we're just sitting here at the student center. I don't know why. I mean, do you ever know why? The driver told us that this is the last stop. <laughs> Out of service. Oh. 41 minutes. Oof. The longest and that was like, that was like a decently fast EE. So we're about to get the LX. One minutes, three, three, four, six, eight, ten, fifteen. That is so frequent. The LX is like the premier route, I think. It's signed as Express. See, living oh. Express. Oh. We're heading on to the Express. We're gonna have a unique Express section, right? Yes, because we're now going to Livingston. So we have not been there yet. We need to get this wonky, like business school building. Wow, Jersey Mike's Arena. Wait, that's a brand new sponsorship. I think it's like hockey and basketball. We're pulling into the Livingston Student Center. This is the last. Last stop. The LX is like a very simple one, just kind of like point to point. This seems to be like far and away the best route on the system. This dream of people getting on here. I think they just made both of those go out of service. Oh, so now they're all getting on us. The driver has left the bus. That's an LX. Oh, so it's passing us. Uh, what? This seems uh, to be like far and away the best route on the system. So in Translog, it shows that we're just looping around and coming back. Are, I think we're, we're going around. But we're not going to serve these. I, Why are we... Um, but, uh, I mean, people are getting off. I guess they know it's supposed to do this. On the PDF schedule, it serves the quads. Yes. But on the translock thing, at all. I don't know. Fix your translock, I guess. The sun sets over the rarity. Wow. That was 30 minutes and 55 seconds. Right. Took the LX back to Livingston. Because I think we're going to get the B and the Biha, right? Yep. We've been going for like three hours and we're only about halfway done. Okay. We're, we're at Livingston Plaza, which is actually kind of nice. These are both out of service. That's the thing is what they do is they don't like have, because they don't really have like start and end points. Yeah. They just be like, all right. Everybody off, get the bus behind ya. They just like kick everyone off the bus and like, shut the lights off. Oh boy, it's the Biha. Let's get on this. The Biha <laughs> is health center. It's, it's dark. There's no uh, one on it. Is it? Oh, it's just dark. There's people on it, but it's just dark. Okay. Oh, and now it's bright. I, I, I may regret this because there's like the Bumble Beehive back here. The Biha. Really the Biha, I suppose. Uniquely makes this stop at the health center. The bees just blow by it, but quite frankly, I think everything should make it or just like cut it. This is identical otherwise to the regular bee. Correct. It just makes one unique stop on the route. It's not even a deviation, it's just on the street. Like it's just like it it's just, a one way whoop. stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not to mention that if you do want to go to the health center, it's just one bus. So as a result, this route just runs every 25 minutes. Leaving the student center, it's actually really nice that the lights are off so we can see outside. I think the question on everyone's mind is, will anyone get on or off at the health center stop? There's like nothing here. Like, is that just a big parking lot right there? It's a garage. Yeah. Okay. The, stop. the lights are going to turn on. Jeez. What do you know? Well, if they are gonna have a stop there, like the B should also stop. That's the same. We're just having like, on hundred dollar request only because they are buses. Yeah, I mean, then you get into the rabbit hole of have every stop request only, like a normal bus system. These buses all have stop request cords. We don't know what they do, and we're afraid to try. I'm starting to get like car sick. I am. This like, is I'm really gonna bad. bar. Doesn't it's work. like the let me in meme. Oh, oh my god, how many people? There we go. Actually, not many of them are getting on this. Bye, everyone. We've, we've made it out with like a full seated load. We're not that busy. It turns out the B and the Biha are more different than we thought. This one goes like counterclockwise around Bush, the other one goes like clockwise. Which is honestly, that makes it even stupider because then you're making them more unique from each other. To add on to that, the B can be as frequent as every five minutes, while the B has is never more frequent than every 25 minutes. Giving more uniqueness to the B has is just a recipe for crowding. Oh, oh we're doing, we're doing this oh, stuff again. Oh, this one's really crowded. Look, uh, wait, look at the little wedge. Oh wait, that's a horrible, <laughs> oh man. Oh, fresh air, fresh I air. Like that. It was about a 20. 
one or so minute ride. Look at everyone sitting on the wall because there's no benches. Yeah. A beacon of light. A bee. In the sea of El Dorados. A new a flyer. New flyer. Yeah. This bus really does look so much nicer. Even the paint is like more oh, intact. Oh, I like how it says exit only on the rear oh, doors. Look how wide the doors look like. You can have two at a time. Yeah. The dwell times on this must be like so much better than every other bus. This one doesn't smell. No, it doesn't. No, no, please. Oh, do you have a vlog? Yeah. Hi. How many subscribers do you have? 6,000 now. Or something, something like that. One notable thing about this bus compared to the others is that all of the seats are sideways aside from the back. With the amount of crowding they get, you want like a maximum standee bus. I mean, it's worth noting this bus still isn't like great. Oh boy. <laughs> Look. <laughs> History. The way the bus's lights have been on, like I can't see anything. Like I'm just in a state of delirium. I never have any idea where we are. Like, so I don't know where we are now. We're at the Bush Student Center again. 25 minutes. All right, so how much time do we have until how our Rexel? 15 minutes. Oh, okay, well. I, I, that place has to go food. All right, so we'll try to get food. Oh. Oh, well, run, getting run over by a truck minibus would be the worst way to go. Well, this was fantastic timing. Our Rexel's coming. We, got, we both got chicken tendies, and I got some extra cheesy cheeses. I would have rather got normal cheesy cheeses, but that wasn't an option. We like a big express portion. We don't like go through downtown. We go straight to Douglas. Thank you, Kilmer's Market, for these very meaty chicken tenders portions. I think this is the unique part. It we're is. It is. Downtown, so, so we. Dude, it's just hard, so hard to tell because it's so dark out. We're off the highway. Now it's basically just doing what the F does. So we've just been sitting at this stop. Like, four buses have passed us. One of them could be another Rexel like, going by us. Because they all get signs. So and, and they're all bunched up. We're off again. We're off the highway. We've just finished our chicken. Cheese it review will come later. 35 minutes. All right. It's the, uh, oh, you want to throw it out? for I, uh, I'm just going to keep it. Oh! Is this even a V? I don't know. It is. Yeah. Thank you. As far as the El Dorados on the system go, this one is actually I think it's the lighting. Nice. The lighting's the lighting. I also don't smell any diesel. So we're gonna take this over to Bush and then get either a C or a Rex B, whichever comes first. Alright, we got off the bus. Where the heck are we? There's no lighting here. It's like nothing. At all. Here comes our Rex B. Oh, it's out of focus. Yep. Two more to go. Oh, Rex we're B very and close. Then C. We're off. So this is identical to the Rex Soul, except it goes from Bush to Douglas instead of from Living Livingston. Livingston. That's what the B and the L are for. There's downtown New Brunswick, but we're skipping it to go express. Back to Bush. I am really excited for this to be over. Yeah, expressing past it all. How do you feel? Like I, I'm ready to be done with this. There's the C. We just, just missed, missed it. it. Oh. We have to wait like 15 minutes for it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I think our bus is out of service and they operate like kicking people onto the other ones. Because there are two others. The C long. is back. Once again, out of focus. I cannot film this loop. So the C seems to just be like, goes out to the and comes back and then hangs out here for like seven minutes. There's a commuter like bot shuttle. You think it would like send you to some like awful like, just like parking lot hellscape. No, it just goes to the stadium parking lot. Where you could take like a bunch of other routes. There's no one on it. This should be where they put the, the truck mini bus. I can't think of a better time than now. Well, we're on the C. So it's for C for Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its extra cheesy. It looks exactly the same. It's like a like, oh, but it's like a like, cheesy like powder on it. Not feeling great about this, guys. I'm gonna be real. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what's wrong with it? It's so cheesy. It's all cheese. It's oops, all cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh. The entire taste of the <laughs> had, and cheese it I, is gone. Do you want to try one? I want to try one. How bad can this be? Oh my god, you're right. Oh, I'm so Why? glad. Yeah, it's terrible. I hate that. I, I gotta say, bad you, score but, for cheese and extra cheesy. You eat all of them like you normally do. Of course. <laughs> We're off on the last route. It's apparently 4 Why 10 a.m., or at least it feels like it. This is like the, the sports shrine part of Rutgers. Oh. Yeah, Big look, 10. Here we go, ready to do this parking lot loop. Oh man, we're already here? This route's so short. Now we're gonna get like interrogated by the driver. Hopefully not. <laughs> of course there's no one here. Yeah, we're just gonna sit here. He asked where you're going. 
Uh, sorry, I think we have to head back. We got on the wrong bus. I hate flying. It's been literally under three like minutes and we're already Rexby. back. That's the same Rex P. It's one. probably just been sitting there this whole time. Thank you. All right, stopwatch, stopwatch. Final time, final time. Six minutes. This is longer Six than hours. it took me to do bar. 